We are talking about bile systems today, bile systems used on SAN and NAS systems. We're going to talk about ZFS, BT, RFS, and EXT4. In this video, we're going to talk about ZFS. Now, what is ZFS? I'm sure you guys heard it. Uh, if you don't know it, um, ZFS, also known as Zeta Bile System, it was created several years ago by developers at Sun Microsystem. It was developed to be used on its operating system, Solaris. Um, and back then, obviously, an enterprise class um, uh, operating system. We call it enterprise because it can manage uh, about a zettabyte of data. And that's close to a billion terabytes. So you can consider a file system that can manage a billion terabytes, right? So, and we'll talk about why that's important. Uh, in this video as well. So now let's uh, talk about some of its features and functions. Um, it has a great uh, feature called checksum. And what the checksum does, it actually checks the data uh, on, on, the, um, on the drives itself. And if um, checks integrity of it, if there's any errors, then it ch itself corrects. So pretty, pretty amazing. Another thing is its ability uh, to expand. Basically, you just continue to add drives, the pool gets, you keep growing the pool. So again, its, it's ability to grow is um, very important. Now, let's talk about why does anyone, why would anyone need such an enterprise class file system? Well, um, when it was created several years ago, you remember that technology has evolved and changed throughout, you know, throughout the years, 10, 20 years, 10, 15, 20 years. So the data that was, that was back then um, isn't the same as it is now. When we talk about file systems, and we talk about uh, data that we're collecting, for example, uh, 4K video, 6K, 8 and 10K video, okay? A lot of our customers are using um, video editing of these types of files, which are massive, right? You remember 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that was enterprise. Now, a lot of people are starting to use it, whether you're a videographer, um, whether you're, uh, you know, in, in the motion, in the motion uh, picture industry, um, or a creative, as well as perhaps utilizing it in an artificial intelligence capacity at data mining. You know, consider all that data that's being collected and how fast it's being collected. Remember, 10, 15 years ago, that was enterprise. Nowadays, it's commonplace, right? So now, people are starting to look at ZFS, saying, wow, this is the right you know, file system for me because I need it because of the type of files, whether they're, whether they're AI um, functions that you need or whether they're um, video editing functions that you need. Perhaps this is the right file system for you, okay? So, and again, that's what we start looking at. Uh, some of the NAS vendors in the industry, uh, like QSAN, for example, all of the QSAN, uh, NAS, and SAN systems have ZFS uh, file systems. Okay, QNAP has recently um, announced that it will be going to ZFS as well. Now, and that's on the smaller systems. QNAP has had ZFS for several years on its enterprise class um, dual controller systems. Um, it has had it um, as well as Q QSAN has had it as well. So now they're bringing that enterprise class, uh, bringing it a little bit lower because respectfully, all of the data that we're starting to collect is basically enterprise. I mean, the large file systems, um, the amount of data that we're creating and consuming and downloading um, is now becoming, you know, a, a massive, massive amount. So we start looking at you know, solutions like ZFS. So now let's take a look at um, its RAID. And we're going to talk about uh, the first one, which is RAID 0 or striping. Okay. And basically, just, just as it entails, RAID 0 or striping uh, has no redundancy. Okay, but it's super fast, right? But it's RAID zero, um, so if you if you, there's any failure of drives, um, geez, you know you're 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 in a bad place because there's no redundancy. However, it's super fast, right? It's super super fast RAID, and so we see it in the industry a lot of users use it as a um, scratch base for video editing. Now, let's look at RAID one or mirroring, and just like it entails, we're talking about mirroring, right? So it's very basic when you remember when you we don't say mirroring it, basically copying um, one disk and having the same data on a second disk, right? We consider that or we call that mirroring or RAID 1, okay? Um, the great thing is that the more drives you add, 
to a RAID 1 or marrying, the faster, um, the faster this becomes. Um, however, it is a little bit slow because you do have to copy the data um, over to the exact same copy over to another drive. So a little bit slow at times as well. Uh, now, let's look at RAID 2, RAID 3, and RAID 4. Now, we do hear these, we get emails, and we get phone calls about these, um, but uh, we do not recommend them. Uh, they're obsolete, and we, uh, we tell customers to stay away from them. Okay, so now, RAID 5. RAID 5 is also known as RAID Z. Okay, and what it does is it distributes a parity uh, along with the data, right, and you can lose one drive. Basically, a failure of one drive is fine, and be able to recover that information. Okay, but you have to have at least three hard drives. Okay, and um, one full disk is used for parity. Remember that, guys. Uh, RAID six, RAID six, it's kind of the same as RAID five, except with two drives. So um, you'd be able to lose uh, two drives um, as opposed to one, which is which is RAID five. Now let's look at RAID seven. Uh, RAID 7 or RAID Z, what it does is it distributes the parity just like 5, 6, uh, but 7 can lose 3 drives. Okay, so kind of gives you, kind of gives it away right in the name. Uh, uh, RAID Z2, you can lose 2 drives. RAID Z3, right, you can lose 3 drives. All right, so um, basically the same thing again. Now, let's look at RAID 10, okay, or what is called RAID 1 plus 0. Okay, what it is, is it's mirroring and striping of data. So basically, the simplest RAID, tenor RAID, has four disks and consists of two pairs of mirrors. Disk one and disk two are mirrored, are mirrors separately, disk three and disk four, another mirror. So inside of, basically inside of the RAID, you'll have mirrors um, of the drives within itself. Okay, so the advantage of the RAID 10 is reading data is super fast. The disadvantages are the writes are slow, right? Why? Because there's multiple mirrors uh, within that RAID. So RAID 60 or RAID 6 plus 0 is a striping of two or more RAID 6 volumes. See? Because we're, it's actually in the name, RAID 6, right? So now two or more RAID 6 volumes, okay? And then you get the advantage of RAID 6 safely. Um, you can actually lose two drives per RAID 6. Okay. RAID 7 or RAID 7 plus 0 is a stripe of two or more RAID 7 volumes, just like RAID 6. You take the advantage of RAID 7 safely and RAID 0 striping speeds, but you lose some capacity. Also, a couple things that I wanted to talk about is a couple features called a copy on write, as well as snapshot and uh, the roll rolling back of snapshots. So the great thing about the ZFS file system is a copy on write. So what happens is when in other file systems, when you are writing new data, um, old data is erased and deleted, right? With the ZFS, you actually, the new data is written on a separate block, okay? And then that data is brought together with the old data and then updated, okay? So you get the latest version of, of that copy. So which is really great. Um, another thing is the snapshot. So what snapshot does, it actually takes a snapshot of a file system, okay? And you can always roll that back to a particular date. Okay, you always retrieve that original file system um, and that's not snapshot version of that file system, okay? So guys, so ZFS, again, um, not just enterprise anymore, okay? Not just enterprise anymore. As I mentioned, QNAP uh, has it. Uh, QSAN has it on all their systems. QNAP is bringing it down on their SMB systems, so keep an eye on it for it. Keep an eye out also for uh, more videos uh, regarding ZFS and some of the ZFS file systems. Uh, we're going to present to you. We get to look inside the system and see how it works, how the operating system is going to be affected. Okay, so stay tuned for that stuff. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in today on our video regarding ZFS file systems on NAS and SAN systems. Thanks.